Welcome back to 5 Minute Knives. Today on the channel, we're going to be talking about a pen, a Fisher Space Pen. But first, let's pay the bills. Okay, welcome back, and I want to start today's show, this week's show, first and foremost, by thanking everybody from the last video. You know, I posted that, you know, just kind of how I make cheese for my company, Dragon Scale Concealment, and I, I really didn't know if anybody would care, right? It's not a big deal, you know, I just make, I make Kydex, a lot of people make Kydex. You guys were overwhelming, you know, you, you appreciated the craftsmanship that goes into my stuff, and I appreciate you, so normally I'm pretty snarky and I like to pick on my audience today. I'm just going to thank you. Thank you. Thank you to everybody. Shout out to our maintenance guy, Zach, too. Who actually came over to the house to do some work and ended up getting a holster pressed uh, right there and then. And that led to a bunch more stuff. But I do appreciate that, man. Thank you for the business. Anyway, uh, before we get to the pen, also thank you to everybody that's been sending me knives for sheaths and stuff. Since that video, we've had a rash of orders and I do appreciate it. Uh, very, very cool. You know, just... Thank you. You guys are awesome. Um, also, you guys can send in knives for review and gear. I will review them, and you know I'm honest with this stuff. So if I don't like something, I will tell you. So yeah, no promises that I'm going to like the knife that you send in, but I do know a few people are sending me knives for review. Some are sending me knives for to make a sheath and to do a review, and those I will give a discount. So there you go. Pen time. In my main career job, I need a pen. I need a pen for a lot of things. So signings, things like that, um, just stuff. So I picked this out off knifecenter.com, and here it is, sort of an unboxing. I've already opened it, but very, very cool design. And the Fisher Space Pen has a real cult following, it seems like. There's some stuff in the bottom, some guarantees, some literature, a little clamshell case. Pretty cool. I don't really care. But here is the pen itself. And I bought this off of Knife Center, and I ended up getting the um, the clip separately. I just went with gold. I wanted something real big so nobody could steal it from me. Here's the pen itself. It has an O-ring. And there you go. This is a pen. And what's cool about these pens is that they actually work in adverse conditions. And of course, I'm an idiot and don't have a scrap piece of paper on hand, so you're going to have to trust me on that. But... Let's read a little bit. So this was $29.75 on knifecenter.com, and the clip was separate. I think it was like three or four bucks. It says here, the Fisher Lime Green Translucent Bullet Space Pen, constructed of all brass and steel components, moonscape gift box, and colored sleeve. No sharp edges, making it the perfect for carrying in your wallet, pocket, or purse. I can attest to that. This is actually a really cool design. That's why I got it. This is going to go in a shirt pocket. I generally wear button-ups when I'm uh, doing my job job. Writes in all environmental conditions, even underwater. And guys, look up this uh, on YouTube elsewhere. You will see what I mean. They do a lot of um, you know tests underwater and stuff. This is pretty cool. Designed for astronauts to work in space. And it's filled with nitrogen, I believe, that actually pushes the ink down so you don't need to have it upright to write with it which I just thought was badass. This is cool. It's a cool little pen. It's a tiny guy too. I mean, closed, it's tiny, but when you have it open and the cap on, it's actually a good size. So this would be an ideal EDC pen, I felt. Still feel. And let's see what else we got here. Writes on coated paper and plastics. Writes through water and underwater and extreme weather conditions. That's important to me. Not affected by dirt, grease, or cold weather. NASA selected the Fisher Space Pen for use on all Apollo missions. They are still used on manned flights in outer space today. Very cool. Cited as an outstanding example of industrial art, a classic design of the Fisher Bullet Pen has been exhibited for years in New York Museum of Modern Art. Wow. The bullet's timeless styling has been the topic of many art books and magazines, articles, magazine articles, <laughs> and continues to be our most popular pen. Seen in the Guinness Book of World Records as the most versatile pen. Wow. The Fisher Space Pen continues to write in rain and all of the weather conditions used by canoers, hikers, campers, golfers, fishermen, snowmobilers, and many other outdoorsmen. Well, that's me. I'm an outdoorsman. And I thought this really appealed to me. Now, the color's really nice. I'm going to go get a scrap piece of paper, show you how she writes. Uh, but I will say this, this finish on there. I mean, it's sharp. It looks cool, right? Very cool. 
Got this from Knife Center. Now, on my Knife Center orders, I always put in the comments when something is for review on the 5 Minute Knives YouTube channel. And I think in the past, I was a little too, uh, the following wasn't there yet. We're starting to grow. But I do that so they have a chance to inspect everything before it goes out. And this way we can get a nice review, good quality control. Now, today when I receive this pen, I don't know if you're gonna be able, you guys are going to be able to see this on camera. Now, here's my Olight 2 baton I'm still using. Now, can you guys see in there? There's rust. Bunch of rust. Or what it looks to be rust. See? Filthy. Dirty, dirty, dirty. Dirty, dirty, dirty. Now, here's the deal. I contacted Knife Center and I told them, hey, there's a bit of rust and stuff gunk inside this pen I just bought. I got it for review on my channel. I'm going to review it. And the lady told me very nicely that unless you specifically request for Knife Center to do, uh, to, to check the item, they will not do it. And the reason being, at first I was annoyed, but the reason being, it makes sense now that she explained it, that some manufacturers have like a seal on there some come in these clamshell cases and if they're open when they get to people people are annoyed they think they were used and so on so that kind of makes sense so if you guys want your stuff inspected before it goes out i didn't even think to have a pen inspected for rust i, I didn't even think it, that would be a case but um put it in the comments please inspect the product you know one thing that I like to do with my folding knives, especially with a fox knife, uh, I had really bad luck with fox karambits. And another reason I don't do business with another major retailer now, I got like three bad five ninety nine fox karambits in a row with like awful centering and problems. So now when I order a folding knife of any kind, I say, please inspect for centering and also that it may be for review on the channel. So it gives them a heads up. But unless you ask them directly in the comments to please inspect it, they will not do so. And you may get a little crusty rusty like this guy. Now, that being said, they were very cool. They're going to send me a uh, return slip and they're just going to exchange this one for me for one that they are going to inspect and make sure there's no problems. But this coating is even coming off underneath here already just from in and out, like just using this twice, three times. So although the Fisher Space Pen may be this iconic thing and this big deal, there's gunk in mine, gunk and junk. And I told him, I said, you know, actually, I was going to wait to review this until they sent me the new one. And then I figured, no, nah, this is pretty good for the channel too, because if there's a problem, I should show the problem. And then my viewers know that I'm, I'm shooting them straight on stuff. So I will say this, gunk in this, it's not like a deal breaker. Like even if they wouldn't replace it, I'd still use this pen. It, it's pretty awesome. But that being said, Knife Center is taking care of me. So Knife Center, if you're watching, Still love you. Let's do some giveaways with the uh, the folks that watch this channel. Maybe we can do some uh, gift card giveaways or something. My marks for customer service are still high, and they can't check every product going out the door. So I don't blame Knife Center. But unless you ask them to inspect a thing, they're not gonna. They have too many products going out, and it does make sense to me, and I, I do get it now. Okay, let's see how she writes. Enough yapping and bapping. Okay. Blah. Ooh, blah. Blah. Blah, blah, blah. It's smoother than it seems. Okay? I will say that. Smooth. It's very smooth. Okay, so this is actually nice. Um, This works good for me. Okay? There's me. There's my hair. Okay, if you want to know what I really look like, that's it. So, boom. Uh, I would say this is actually a uh, pretty good pretty good little pen. I do like it. I don't know how long the refills are going to last. Refills are available. Uh, cost on that, not so sure. I haven't even looked into it. That being said, this is like a first impressions. And also, hey, this one came kind of fugly. What do you want from me, right? I got to shoot them straight. Actually, I think this is good for the channel, to be honest with my folks. So very cool. Oh, the watch I'm wearing is a Seiko Perpetual. I know some folks are going to ask. Blue dial. Boom. Review on this guy, forthcoming. I'm sort of, I'm not becoming disillusioned with Seiko, but their their service plan leaves a lot to be desired. To get a Seiko watch serviced, you're going to, in most cases, be spending more than you spent on the watch itself. And that kind of bums me out because they do say you have to send Seikos in 
uh, every three years, although they should work for life. Every three years, they'd like you to send them in for maintenance. Well, okay. So every three years, I got to spend more than I spent on the actual watch. Why don't I just buy a new one, homies? So somebody in the comics, uh, comments, explain to me what's up with that. <laughs> explain to me how you feel about that. I know we have a lot of Seiko fans on the channel. I'm one. I have a bunch of Seiko stuff. I just bought the uh, Orient Bambino, not realizing it's a uh, daughter company. So very cool. Back to the Fisher Space Pen. Pretty nice. Writes nice. Nice little guy. Going to be a great EDC pen. One of those things, like when I go to my stuff, my, my events and things like that, I'm not worried about somebody running off with this. It's bright green. I'm on a green kick lately. The gold clip, I figured a little flash would be nice. This will go with my Orient Bambino. The green dial. How cool is that? So I dig it. I dig it. Uh, I would say, despite the little rusty crusties, that you got in the cap here. Thus, so far, my first impressions are very positive of this pen. I really love the size. I love the weight and feel of it. I love that it's iconic. I love that it has such a loyal following. If you look in the comments on like reviews of this pen and stuff, people are like, oh, I've had mine 25 years, 10 years, same refill. Like, okay, cool, guys. So people are really gung-ho. You know what this reminds me of? This following for this pen reminds me of the following for the Victorinox um, like Swiss Army knives. People that love them, love them to death. And I'm actually one of them. A uh, review on the Fieldmaster coming soon. I have a bunch of fixed blades to show you too. And sheaths and stuff. That's about it. I, I would say, I mean, is this a buy? Is it a not is it not a buy? You know, for this this price here, 30 bucks, eh, a little pricey for some. But if you're like me, you know, if you if you're if your job is that you're a writer, <laughs> I think that this would be a fine addition. Nice little grip down here, you know, this kind of uh, machining down here. It gives you a nice, solid grip. You know, it's not a slippery pen. It looks like a slippery pen, and it kind of is, but it's not when you're writing with it. It's got very nice weight, very nice balance. I dig it. I dig it. Boom. See that? So, would I say the Fisher Space Pen is a is a total buy? Yeah. Yeah, I would. Yeah, I would. If you're into pens, what's 30 bucks, right? That's not too bad. And we're knife people. You know, a uh, $30 knife is a cheapo cheapo. So if you look at it in knife terms, you know, what is this? A couple of Moras? What is this? A uh, CRKT CEO? Right? What is this? A cold steel freaking broadsword? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what cold steel has. It's 30 bucks. But the Kuban? I think it's a little more. But it's not bad is what I'm saying. It's not going to break the bang. And I think it's a nice little piece. I'm already liking it more and more as time goes on. I want them to hurry up and send me my new one so I can just put it to use. This is a cool little funker. I dig it. So yeah, I, I would say actually that this this pen is a total buy based on what I've seen so far. Uh, you can get them with the clip, like a stainless clip or something. I bought the clip separate. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. And uh, we'll see you next time on 5 Minute Knives.